What is going on guys? It is Aldo here at Zero Two Mastery and today I'm handing it over to Amber to talk about AWS test taking tips. If you want to give yourself the best odds to pass this exam, you need to know what to look for. And that's where Amber comes in. Amber is a certified cloud practitioner, developer, and technical trainer with numerous years of experience. So you guys are definitely in some good hands. Enough talking for me. Let me hand it over to Amber to get you guys started. As someone who's taken lots of technical certifications in my career, I've picked up a few strategies and tips along the way that have served me well. Hopefully these will help you too. In no particular order, here are the tips. First, it may seem obvious, but read the questions carefully. I've definitely missed things because I've skimmed through the questions too quickly. Keep an eye out for qualifier phrases such as least expensive or with the least amount of effort. For example, if the question is asking about setting up a relational database and your options are to spin up an EC2 instance, manually install the database versus just using the managed relational database service, then the relational database service will be less effort. Both would technically work, but RDS would have the least amount of effort. Also, as you're reading the questions, if there's more than one correct answer, that will be noted. So make sure you pick as many answers as it says. Next, you can usually eliminate two answers right away because they just don't make sense. These are included as a way to distract you. After you eliminate those two, you'll usually be left with two answers that could be right, and you'll just need to study them and pick the correct one. As far as what's correct, generally speaking, the correct answer is going to be simple. If there's an answer that says you could do five different things with three different services, that's probably not the correct answer. Again, this is a generalization, but it's a good rule of thumb. And kind of related to what I said in the first bullet, most of the times, if you're given a choice between setting up and configuring something manually versus using an AWS managed service, a reminder, that means they're dealing with all the infrastructure and provisioning and so on, the managed service is usually going to be the correct answer. More tips. Try to make your first pass through all the questions and answer the things that you're sure of. Hopefully, this will be the majority of things where you don't have to spend too much time to come up with the right answer. This means you're going to be less stressed about running out of time, and at that point you will have seen all the questions so you know what you're up against. For anything you're unsure of, you'll be able to flag it in the testing software and easily come back, hopefully with plenty of time to still study the options. I personally like to make a second pass on all the questions, even if they were easy on the initial pass. Sometimes I'll realize that I misread something or I jumped to a conclusion too soon. And sometimes as you go through the later questions, one of them will trigger something that makes you remember an earlier answer. And so you can go back and change it. Next, never leave a question unanswered. It'll automatically be marked wrong if there's no answer. If you just have no idea what the correct answer is, it's actually better to guess. There, you usually have at least a 25% chance of getting it correct. Finally, AWS offers an official practice exam that's free to take. So in addition to all the practice questions you're getting here and the PDF that we saw in the earlier video, this is a good additional way to check your readiness. Let me show you how to get there. On the exam homepage, scroll down to this section here, prepare for your exam. And then you want to go to the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Official Practice Question Set. I'll click on this. This will take you to AWS Skill Builder. You will need an account for this if you don't have one already, so sign in. It does integrate with Amazon.com, so if you have a retail account with Amazon, you can use that. I'll sign in. And then from here, you'll want to pick one of these practice sets. I'm already enrolled in the English version here, but there's other language support as well. So I'll click on this one. As I said, I've already completed this one, but you'd want to start learning now. And then you'll actually need to go to another site called Bench Prep. So I'll open this up in a new tab. And then you basically just need to follow these instructions here. You do need a separate account for this site as well. It's free and easy to set up. But following these instructions, you would grab your access code right here. Copy that. Redeem your access code. I won't go through all of this since I've already taken this and I have an account. But from here, basically follow the prompts to create your bench prep account, and then you'll be good to go. I'll go back to this previous tab and log in and just show you a little bit about what the experience is like, even though I've already taken mine. So I'll log in. 
on this tab for overview and instructions, here's things that I'm currently working on or have enrolled in or have taken. Your screen will probably look a little bit different than mine since I've already taken mine. Mine will show up in in progress. And clicking in here, you'll see some of the questions. If you haven't taken the exam yet, obviously you're not going to see this, but after you take it, you can come in and review your questions and get the correct answers, which is nice. So this one, for example, here was the question, which of the following are benefits of AWS Cloud? And these were the answers that I was given. This one actually required two answers. So you'll see them here, A, B, C, D, and E. And then after you take the exam, you'll be able to come in here and look at the answers as well as click links to learn more. So pretty nice experience. Going to the next one, just to show you another example, more questions around the advantages of cloud. That's kind of a big topic. So just giving you a look here as you go in and start the exam from scratch, though, you're going to get a very similar experience to the actual test. So it'll have a timer. You'll be able to go back and review your answers before you submit them and so on. You do only get 20 questions here on the practice test, so you don't get the full 65 like on the real exam. But I think it's a great way just to practice and see how prepared you're feeling. And it's totally free, so why not do it? Aldo here again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested in getting certified, make sure to check out Amber's full AWS Cloud Practitioner Bootcamp course. Well, she'll dive into everything you need to know and even give you a 65 question mock-up exam that closely mirrors the one you'll be taking on test day. More information on that in the description below. But that's it for today and until next time.